from Trump Tower to a lower Manhattan courtroom. The former president arrived to face trial over allegations he illegally covered up a hush money payment to adult film star Stormy Daniels. On his way in, a now familiar refrain. This is political persecution. This is a persecution like never before. Nobody's ever seen anything like it. Donald Trump has pleaded not guilty to 34 counts of falsifying business records. Prosecutors say the alleged fraud was part of an effort to keep Stormy Daniels quiet during the 2016 election campaign. It's an assault on American justice! Outside, minds were already made up. Boom. Trump won. Trump won. Number three. In court, more than half of the first batch of around 100 potential jurors were excused after saying they couldn't be impartial. The rest answered questions on their employment, hobbies, affiliations with Donald Trump and news consumption. The judge has stated it's not a matter of whether or not people like Donald Trump, but whether they can set aside feelings and any biases. Twelve New Yorkers will ultimately be impaneled. Trump is not above the law! I hope there's a hung, hung jury, yes. I hope there will be. I, I just find, hope somebody, at least one person, will find some conscience in him or her, herself. Do you think it's um, damaging for the country to put a former president on trial? Damaging? Oh, no. No, I think it's, I think it's good. I think it shines the light on accountability. A decision in a trial that made history before it even began could come down in around six weeks. Justice for all. Barbara Miller, ABC News, New York.